Sacred Heart High School, Nala Supara West. Subject English, Standard Third, Unit Two, Lesson Thirteen. Let's wait, Part One, a monologue. Hello, students. I'm here with your Unit Second, that is First Semester portion. So let's begin with the lesson. Let's wait, a monologue. Do you all remember in first unit I had explained to you about monologue in lesson number eight? Monologue means a speech by one person. In this lesson also, a small girl is talking with her own. When things go against their wishes, little children sometimes feel very sad and lonely. Yes or no? When we want something from our parents and parents don't listen to us, we feel very sad. Children don't realize how much the people around them love them. It's only when they wait and think properly that they understand it. Let's hear what this girl has to say in this lesson. Let's wait. Students, I'll read out each paragraph and then explain you all. This is the worst day of my life. I am feeling very sad. You may not believe it, but I am the saddest person on this earth. The reason is that nobody loves me. I have a family, mummy, daddy, granny and a younger sister. I have been sitting here behind this sofa for the whole day. Okay, for the last eight hours. All right, all right. At least an hour. At least ten whole minutes and no one has to notice. Now a small cute girl in this lesson, she's sitting behind the sofa and talking with her own that no one likes me. I'm the saddest and the lonely person on this earth. She says that in my family, I have everyone, mom, dad, granny and a baby sister. But no one takes care of me. From when I'm sitting behind sofa, she says that from last eight hours I'm sitting. Then she says, no, at least an hour. But it was not an eight hour or an hour. She was sitting there. That was her imagination. She was sitting there from ten minutes only. Now she thinks that nobody loves her, nobody likes her. That's why nobody noticed her. They are all interested only in my sister. Even when she cries for no reason, they all rush to her, pick her up and give her whatever she wants. Now here she says that with no reason when my small sister cries, everyone comes to pick her up and ask her. I should really go away and live in some interesting place. I think I'll become a hermit and wander in the mountains and forest. I'll eat the fruits on trees and make friends with birds and animals. Now hermit means a person who lives alone apart from society. Wander means walk around aimlessly. Now here the girls say now that's enough. I should leave my house. I will go away from here. I'll go in mountain and forest and eat whatever I'll get from the nature and make friends with birds and animals. Or I could ride away on a camel and live in a desert. At night, I will sleep in a tent. Or better still, I'll travel to North Pole and live in an igloo made of ice. I'll make friends with the polar bear. Now, your first she was saying that I will wander in mountain and forest. Now she wants to ride on a camel in desert. And leave the whole night in tent. She also wants to go to the North Pole. Now students, you do you know North Pole is the place where you find ice and snow. The land is covered with snow. There you find igloo. Do you know students, in polar region you find polar bears and Eskimos. Now Eskimos who lived in an igloo made from ice. Now here the little girls 
want to stay in an igloo also so students this was the first part of the lesson in second part i will explain you what happened next